What kind of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in doubt, doubt you can't fight fire with Sam. <laughs> you have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, it was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishy nibble. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, little brown eel slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open. Hooray! <laughs> and we're off. That really does look like an ocean of flame, Mike. But this time, I won't put it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Help. Show him how it's really done. Yes, it's time for the routine. In cold weather, it is very important to clear the windscreens of frost. We have a new, super fast defroster spray to do the job. Let's try it. Look, the frost is going. Ooh. My turn! 
Elvis. 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 I'm guessing we only need to use a small amount of spray, Elvis. Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? <laughs> no. Help! Norman? Sarah and James are trapped on the lake and the ice is melting! I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally brilliant piece of winter rescue equipment ever! Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It was just like a regular sausage cooked on a regular barbecue with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! <laughs> Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We're trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery is flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff! There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Oh, Trevor, I'm getting vertigation again. Oh. What are we going to do? <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. OK, Sam. Everyone, let's get you to safety. El 
service. Make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. Then can we go home? Yes, sir, we can. Ah, my arms are killing me! It was around here somewhere. Turkey, Mandy, that was just some seaweed. Now can we give up? No, Norman. If it wasn't for you, we would have been on Neptune and spotted it already. We've got to keep looking. Um, the sea is starting to look very rough. I really think we should go back now. Oh, actually, we'll chase the way back. There! I can see it! Stop rowing, Norman! <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Oh, it's good to be on dry land again. Chicken pasta feeling better now, sir? Oh, yes, Sam. Much better. Right. I just need to find the right frequency and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. I can't grow for much longer, Mandy. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. Be quiet, Norman. That wasn't the turtle either. It was just a log. I want to go home. The waves are getting huge. Oh, all right, Norman. I suppose I'll never see a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. Okay. I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards... like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Pandy Pete! And he's protecting his treasure! Ah! Uh-oh! Please, oh, please, 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 let me find the path and not a pirate ghost! James? Is that you? Oh, Dad! You've got to help! Norman's lost in the fog and I can't find him anywhere! Norman! Are you there? Let's head back to the boat. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is lost in the fog on Ponty Pandy Island. Uh, uh, oh, the uh, uh, Finally, my lovely cup of tea. Norman Price is lost on Ponty Pandy Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Centre. We'll be ready with Saturn. Over. Right you are, Sam. Oh, shit. 
invisibility. Let's hope Saturn can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Saturn. I've got something. Saturn's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on! Is quite enough. The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters. Elvis, if you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to... Oh, oh, oh! Moose! Oh. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. But I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I, uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh, no. I hope my fossils aren't broken. We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's okay, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. <laughs> Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. to the gully. Come on, Moots. Let's get you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. <laughs> Finished! Oh, uh, that was quick. Yes, yes, very quick. Oh, no! First of the ladder. Wait, Norman, let me pass. No, wait, Derek. Oh, one at a time. Yes, I was first. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! If everyone else would climb up a little more sensibly. Please. Quidlington! What are you doing up there? I'm stuck, sir. It's all right, Station Officer Steele. We're trying to get him down. I'm just going to hook the wheel back on the line, sir. All right, Sam. I thought you were rescuing Dolly, not each other.
There you go, Elvis. Oh, don't worry, Dolly. I'm safe. It's amazing up here. I can see the whole of Ponty Pandy. What's happening? The bracing's come off. Norman, you did screw all the screws in really tight, didn't you? Yes, of course I did. Uh, oh, um, whoopsie. We need to balance out the weight. Norman, you're going to have to stay in the middle to keep it balanced. Me? Uh, Derek, you go in the middle. You were first up. No, I wasn't. You were first. And you pushed in. Be quiet, you two. No one move or the whole thing might fall. I really don't like tree houses. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Help! 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 <laughs> what? What is it, Nipper? Oh, someone's in trouble. Come on. What's happened, Trevor? The bracing's coming apart. We can't move or the whole tree house will fall. I'll go and call Fireman Sam. Oh, I was really looking forward to those. Oh. Oh, I got it! Yes! Hey! So, where the Grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Uh, wait! Uh, slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! Uh, no cheese and no Norman Price. <gasps> I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. It's really quick. Come on, sir. Hold it. Start the 
stopwatch, Mandy. I'm doing the first record-breaking balloon flight from Ponty Pandy to Newtown. for how many times someone stopped to stopwatch. I never realised dancing could be so much fun. <laughs> Me neither. Any more dancing, Sam? Well, OK, let's try the jive. Yay! My favourite! <laughs> Stop the stopwatch, Mandy. The carrot juggling record is in the bag. bigger record to break. Not before I do. <gasps> Baked beans? Of course. That's it! A bathtub? Of course that's it! James, Sarah, over here, quick! Hi, Derek. What's happening? I need your help with this old bathtub. Qu quickly, I'll explain on the way. Squatting record. That'll show silly old Derek. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you really think you can get the world record for riding furthest in a bathtub? That's the plan. It looks scary. Right. Give me a push. A big push. Oh, hey! Quiddy's book of records here. the midnight feast. Oh, yes. Three carrots? I thought they would be a healthy treat. How will this be the best sleepover ever when we've only got three carrots for the midnight feast? I've got a custard, too. Ew. Never mind. We're going to have to sneak downstairs and see what's in the kitchen. Um, stay there. I just need to check that the coast is clear. But Mum and Dad are in bed. <laughs> no one will ever see them now. All clear. Now, we need to find all the yummy ingredients we can. Make the best sleepover sandwich ever! Ah, now I just need to toast it. Are you sure you should be doing that, Norman? Of course I should, Mandy. This is the best sleepover ever, isn't it? Now, time for a scary story. Scary story? It's very dark. It's got to be dark for the really scary sleepover story. Cool. This is going to be the best sleepover ever. So, what's the scary sleepover story, Norman? 
It's called the Fog of Doom. Oh, once upon a time, there was a really scary person who lived in a really scary house. Am I a potato? No, no, let me think, let me think. N no, uh, wait, I've got it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no, it can't be that. Uh... He's been guessing for an hour now, Sam. Mm-hmm. Would you like a clue, sir? Oh, yes, cooking idea. You are something you wear, sir. I've got it, I've got it. Yes? yes? No, no, it's gone again. We slide down the hill like this and then point our toes together to make a snowplow like this, as gracefully as a falling snowflake. OK, Penny. I think I've got it. Great job, Sam. OK, Elvis, your turn. Here I come. Uh, ah! Stop! Elvis! Point your toes together! Oh! Sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? <laughs> no, Elvis. Ah, a toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. OK, actors! Get on the toboggan! We can hear you. You'll slide down this, um, gentle slope, and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! <gasps> Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh, ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. The sausages are ready. Ooh, uh. What's that? The, the 
That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh! Oh, Trevor, you saved my life. Cheek. Norman, my precious boy, what's happened to you? Trevor, the camping stool! Oh my, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. There we are, perfect. Ugh. Solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. We've got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. It's Fan and Sam! Oh. Hey, do! Turn it off! Stand back, everyone! It's after me! Out with water, Mandy. That's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It, it explodes! Explodes! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fame and Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, oh, uh, uh. The, the flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. Get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. Don't worry, Mandy. It was a nice thing to try to do. It was, Mandy. Thank you. <sighs> it's so much f f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Ooh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we're in the front row. Man, 
Pandy. Remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, man. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. A blanket with no holes, soup that's just right, and a nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mandy Fan is dangling from a tree over a ravine. <laughs> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the Newtown Road. On my way. I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Mandy, I got you. Thanks, Fireman Sam. Oh, Mom! Oh, Mandy, I'm so glad you're safe. I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Mommy! Don't worry, Lily. We'll find them. Oh, no. I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realise how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily? What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh, no. Sarah's gone, too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? Need 
to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? He's showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. Cloud Scraper is floating away. So, you won't be flying to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain after all, Mandy. No, but Lumbykins will. Go, Lumbykins! Oh, dear. He's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> <gasps> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. <laughs> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. <laughs> Scribe is heading for Ponty Pandy Mountain. We need to get to the mountain railroad and fast. <laughs> Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. You are, Sam. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Oh, that's a relief. Well done, Penny. Nice job. Thanks, Ben. Right then, let's get back to the centre. I think I'll stay back here. It might be a bit drier. Good idea, Sam. Whoa! Sorry, Sam. Don't say it. It's, it's a, a good, good job, job we're wearing, wearing waterproofs. <laughs> the Ponty Pandy Cup is about to begin. Places, everyone. We're not going to go very fast, are we, Sarah? Yes, James! Really fast! We need to win the race! I think you'll find that I'm going to win the race. Dream on, Norman! You've never won it! Now, is that all the contestants? Not quite. Make way for... Oil Thunder! But, but the... He's a grown-up! That's against the rules! The rules are... There are no rules. Right, are we ready? Room for one more! What is that? Say hello to the Rocky Blaster 2000. Oh, I take my fluffy fly. 
parked at the finishing line. Please don't let it blow up. Three, two, one. Please don't let it blow up. Ignition! that you press the activation button twice to enter the menu mode. Which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. It's working. Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. I'm so cold and wet that I lost my recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So? What are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast of fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I have been sailing to lands far and distant, but I will return before a wind can fall. That was so great, teaching Elvis and Penny how to use the sonar. Better than fighting giant carrots. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronnie, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. And then radar will get in. Whoa! Oh, radar, stop! Come back! Well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? 100 meter pet and owner dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! And they're off and racing. Mandy and Nipper take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly, who stops to eat some tucker. Come on, Woolly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning. Oh, Nipper could go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back. 
Nipper, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Run like the wind, boy! <laughs> Keep running! <laughs> Time and Sam! Fire at the whole fish cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside. Can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. <laughs> Just oh. give it to me. That's very good, Sarah. The theatre's been fire-checked, sir. Splendid. And how are the stars of the show getting on? Then, after your line, I come in with my part and... Uh, oh, look, sir. Watch. Not now, Elvis. There's an emergency. Norman and Hannah have rolled into the sea on the prop pirate ship. Norman and Hannah have rolled into the sea on the prop pirate ship. You at the key now. I'm on my way. Don't panic, Hannah. We're in a ship. We'll just float. Norman, it's not a real ship. It's just a prop. Wait. What? Oh! Help! They're sinking. Oh no. You won't be able to swim! Don't worry, Norman. I've passed my gold swimming badge. I can swim better than you. to move, Tom.
need the ship for the show. What are we going to do? Penny? If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire.